In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Google Analytics on your website using Google Tag Manager. The first thing you're going to do is navigate over to accounts.google.com and you're going to sign in with your Google account and then navigate over to this URL, tagmanager.google.com. And you'll be prompted to set up a new account. Google Tag Manager does allow you to create an overall account name, and then you're going to you're able to set up multiple properties or multiple websites within that account. And so we can just for now call this my business websites for now. Continue. And now you can create a container. Now a, con a container contains all of the tags that you want to install on your website. I'm just going to show you here how to install Google Analytics. Once you have Google Tag Manager installed, you can use it to easily install other tracking codes and tags, such as for call, dynamic call tracking or for split run testing or things like that of that nature. Well, we won't worry about that for now. We're just going to focus on Google Analytics. So go ahead and create the container name, which is the, essentially the name of your website. Go ahead and enter the name and then click web. This is for your website and click the create button and you will be prompted to agree to their terms of service. Go ahead and click that and agree. And once it loads, you're now going to be prompted to install Google Tag Manager on your site. Now, the benefit of installing Google Tag Manager is that once you install this code on your website, it's the essentially the only code tracking code you'll need to install on your website when you want, want to add additional tracking codes to your site for other things other than Google Analytics, you'll do that within Google Tag Manager, which has additional features typically that give you more configuration options and more configuration power, which is why I prefer using Google Tag Manager. I'll go ahead and install this. There's, as you can see, there's two bits of code, one to go in the header tag of your website and another to go within the body. And if you don't know how to do this, get your web developer to do it. They will know how. I will do this very quickly in my site, just so you can see me do it. Navigate over here to this brand new website. So we will go over to the administrative dashboard. And I use WordPress and a theme called Optimize Press. And your method of installing Google Tag Manager will likely be different since you probably don't use um, Optimize Press, but I just wanted to show you really quick how easy it is if you do. And uh, even if you don't, it's, it's usually pretty darn easy. As you saw there, I did it just in a few seconds. Now it's done. And your web developer will know how to do this even if you don't. Now that that code is installed, we'll come back over here to install Google Tag Manager or the uh, installation screen. We'll click OK. It has now been installed. However, Google Analytics is not installed, only uh, Google Tag Manager installed. So now we're going to install Google Analytics. What you're going to do is click on Tags over here on the left. Click on New. Click on this little pencil. And as you can see, Google Analytics is right up here up top. You'll see two, Classic and Universal. Click Universal. And then it's going to ask you for your tracking ID. Come back over to Google Analytics. And down on the left-hand side, bottom left, click your Admin button. And then click Property Settings under the correct property name. And this is the tracking ID right there. Highlight that, copy it, come back to Google Anal uh, Tag Manager, and paste that right there. And now, next, it's going to ask you how to trigger it. When does this code get triggered? Let me show you how this works. Click the pencil icon and click All Pages, and then click Save, and Save again. Google Analytics has now been installed in Google Tag Manager. However, it's not published. You need to click the Publish button. But before we do that, there's just a couple small um, 
configuration tweaks I want us to make to this tag before you publish it. So click on Uni Universal Analytics again, come back into the tag, click the pencil icon to edit it, scroll down to More Settings, scroll down to Advertising, and click this little button here, Enable Display Advertising Features. What it does is it enables enhanced demographics to be reported inside Google Analytics. So a little bit better tracking, which if you ever get to display advertising over in AdWords, you will be uh, all set up to track that more robustly. And then scroll down again to Advanced Configuration. And under Enable Enhanced Link Attribution, change that to True. By changing it to True, you're going to be able to better uh, track where your prospects and customers are coming from and how they navigate to and through your site. So change that to true. Don't forget to click Save and then go over to Google Analytics and come back down to the Admin tab. Underneath Property Settings, scroll down and you'll see the Used Enhanced Link Attribution option. Turn that to On and then click Save. And now you need to test whether your setup is working. So I come over here to this button right here, click the down arrow and click Preview. Once, now you're previewing. Go over to the website, right click and reload or refresh that page. And you'll notice that down below, it summarizes the tags that have been fired on this page. And you can see that Universal Analytics has been fired on this page. Once you've verified that Google Tag Manager is indeed firing the Universal Analytics code on your web page, and by the way, then you should then go over to Google Analytics and double check it in your real-time settings. And if you don't see anybody here, that's probably because you haven't published yet. So come over here to Google Tag Manager, click Publish, and it prompts you to save names for every time you make a change so you can actually control your versions. If you're not planning on adding a lot of detail here, you can just skip that. It still will save, and now it's been saved. So now come back over to your website, refresh, and then go over to Google Analytics, and now you can see in real time, you can see the one user there. All right, so there's the steps, hopefully that uh, shed some light on the process, and you will now be able to set up Google Analytics within Google Tag Manager, and you've also gotten a brief overview of how Google Tag Manager works and how to potentially add other tracking codes using Tag Manager.